It's Nisha. So today, Tuesday tutorial is going to be this um, sort of a rock chick grunge look. Um, I was wearing that in my la latest tag video, um, so I thought I will recreate it for you. Um, it is, as you can see, that's why the hair is so mess messy. Um, yeah, because it's a grungy look, and obviously it's not a daytime look. Um, well. It could be if you wanted to, uh, but I thought it is really, really fun and quite smouldering. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Okay, let me clip my hair. I don't know what the lighting is like. It's very sunny today, so I had to put the blinds down a bit. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with Bear Study as my primer. And I'm only really putting it mostly on my lower lid that's where the shadows seem to crease the most it doesn't really crease up here and for underneath my eye because you really need to prime underneath um, because for that grunge look there is quite a lot of eyeshadow going underneath your eye so I'm, I'm going to use the um, e.l.f. eyelid primer in champagne simply because I've got this really good applicator it's so hard to do it you know straight from the pot this is gonna be a bit easier to use I could have used it really all over my lid. So today I will be mostly working with my Inglot eyeshadow. And the first one I'm going to put on is 421. I will list them all below. It is a um, nice brown colour. And I'm taking flat paddle brush. This one is... Um, old Costco brush and I will use one side for that colour and I'm just going to pat it quite a lot just on my mobile lid I don't know if this brush is actually the best brush for it but you know you just find what you like and I will put the same shadow with the angled brush underneath my eye the underneath is very important because that's where you go down quite low to make it all grungy and smudgy I'm trying to remember how I did it um, I think that I took like a blending brush and blended it up a, a bit just anyhow and sort of up and out towards the end of my eyebrow It is not a very precise look, it's more about layering the colours and um, making the emphasis all around your eyes being quite dark. Um, so now I am going to take my other Inglot, eyesh oh, Inglot eyeshadow in 434 and again using the same brush. I am gonna go over that brown and this is like a um, such a difficult color to explain but it's one of the new ones that I've just got um, it looks gray purple I don't know 
um, I usually do the smoky eye with black, but sometimes, I don't know, black can look a bit harsh. So with the same brush, just the other side of it, I now pat this color on the top of that brown. I don't know, it's quite nice to do. You would probably think, why would you put brown underneath purple? But I think, I think that's what makes the... Um, grungy look is layering different colors not just doing it all with gray and black or just purple and darker purple I think when you you almost almost like a hmm I want to say duochrome it obviously doesn't have the same effect as duochrome but there is something about it that when you it's very difficult to explain but can you see how smoked out that look gets and again, blend, blend. We're not going very high with this look. Um, it's not nothing about the crease. The emphasis is more as close to your eye as possible. So it's basically layering and blending. I shouldn't have put my foundation on first because with those dark colors you often get fallout. So I'm taking again the same uh, 434 and I'm going to go over this shadow. Of course that would look so much nicer on a nice young eye with the skin under eye is not, doesn't have fine lines and <laughs> It's nice, taut and smooth. Okay. And remember blending it up, up and out towards the edge of your brow. So I'm not going to go any higher than this. Um, I might just put like a uh, blending color in there. Now, I look quite grungy already. Now I'm going to use, if I knew where it was, oh there it is, uh, my Urban Decay Pear version 24-7 black eyeliner and I'm just going to tight line it. So I'm going to put it at the top. This is very, you don't have to do it, it's, it's a bit uncomfortable and scary and then you put it really close to your eyelashes sort of work it in your lashes and doesn't it doesn't have to be very precise because we're going to smudge it and we're going to put more um i'm going to put more eyeshadow over it so i'm going to do one eye at the time because Need the time to smudge it. Don't have a smudger. I'm gonna use one of these. I didn't bring my smudger, my sponge smudger. But it really doesn't doesn't matter what how neat it is because this is just to darken even more this eye area. And then you go a bit here, not so much in your waterline, but like work it a bit into your um, eyelashes and just smudge it a bit and let me do this one this is so much easier to do when you when you're not um, videoing it because obviously normally I would have my mirror right in front of me I have to look that way but it doesn't matter and now I'm taking my third Inglot eyeshadow and that, that's one of the new ones and this one is matte in 376 and that's again like a um, grey purple take again this brush and work this one really low over this black liner that you did and maybe here in the corner.
and I am going to go over this as well with the same shadow. Okay. And now I'm going to take, um, this is MAC Kid. And this is just like a very skin color brown. Just to slightly, after, you know, after I've done all this, just to do a slight transition, so take clean brush and just go up here. It's not gonna really add much color or anything. It's just to soften that color. And what I do with it as well, I go with it underneath. And if you feel you want it darker and grander, I'll probably do a bit here so I can pull it out a bit because I sort of you see want it to be smudged in that way. That's it. Okay, what you can also do is um, use the Pixie Eye Bright Liner in your waterline. Um, it is basically not white one, but sort of flesh colored um, liner. So I didn't use the black in a waterline. I used it sort of into my lashes. And now we're going to do mascara and then lashes. Lashes are a must for this look. So I'm just using any mascara because um, we're going to use lashes so you don't have to work the mascara so much. Okay, now lashes, and for my lashes I used that day, and I will use them again. Uh, the Idol Demi Wispies. Very pretty lashes. Um, not too thick because they have, um, they call it Invisiband, you know, when the, the band is not so solid, and these are a bit more natural looking lashes if you can call false eyelashes natural looking <laughs> sorry I'm just picking off the leftover glue I'm going to use my uh, duo glue I hate doing lashes okay wait for about one minute for it to Go tacky. Yeah, they are quite pretty. Okay, so that's the eyes done with the lashes and um, you want something pale for your lips. Uh, so I am going to use um, NYX Peekable Neutral as my liner. I will list all the products in the description box. Mm. 
Okay, and then I'm going to use um, Tom Ford Rich Vanilla, Nude Vanilla, sorry. And on top of that, I am going to use one of my favorite um, glosses, which is L'Oreal Glam Shine in 101 Pink Mon. Okay, and that's the finished look. Um, the hair is messy on purpose. It's supposed to be this um, grungy rock chick. I am so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think. It is quite easy and you can lay a few different colours uh, if you want. Um, and I think this is quite nice, sexy evening look, you know. Christmas party and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!